Allison Inman. I am the Bellport's Education and Engagement Director, and I would love to show you our new building. We walk right into the Jim Ridley lobby. I'm so happy to have been able to keep Jim Ridley with us. Um, he's the ultimate champion of the Billport Theater. We would not be here if it weren't for, for Jim's encouragement and spirit and writing about the films that we showed all these years. So every time someone walks into this lobby, they'll see Jim's name. We have our new open box office, so people don't have to stand outside to order their tickets anymore. They can come right in when it's raining. Our new restrooms, which are a main attraction here because we finally have accessibility for people who use wheelchairs and walkers, and we are so thrilled with that. Our lobby has experienced expanded greatly. We took off the back of the 1966 hall to make way for this larger lobby. So there will be more room when we're lining up to see films. People can, can see that. This, of course, is the, the theater that was built in 1966. We removed some of the seats in the back, which used to be the old smoking section. We removed those to make way for the bigger lobby and the bigger, and bigger restrooms. But it still feels wonderful and cozy. I feel like the spirit of this room is definitely still intact. We're delighted with this new concession stand. We still have food from Mesa Kamal at Casa Safran, our Carla's Catering, Hummus Chick, desserts by Mo. We like to sell local food, of course, and we have our full bar. And this is the 1925 hall, but this is the place that will feel the most familiar to our longtime patrons. And it's been showing movies in this room since 1925, so very special to be back in here. So this new alcove was made with wood from our fly loft that we took down from the 1925 hall, so we're still able to use that that wood that's been there since 1925. The wood on the stairs is also part of the fly loft. This is our beautiful, our beautiful upstairs lobby with art this week from Harry Underwood. We'll have a gallery space here. So this small screening room seats 40 people. It will be open all day, every day, like our other screens. This is just the, the third room where you can see a movie now at the Belt Court. The part that's the biggest deal to me is the Jackson Education and Engagement Space. We have capability to show film in here. Um, probably won't show full-length films in here, but we're hosting film workshops, classes, seminars in this room. It's, it's amazing. We've gotten so much support, financial and otherwise, emotional support from, from our friends and fans, and it's so good to be back together again.